tree. How many of y'all have heard the story? All right, how many of you have seen the story acted out a little bit? Have you ever seen it acted out? This is going to be a different version than I think you've ever seen before. You ready? All right, here's the giving tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and he loved a little boy, and every day the boy would come, and he would gather her leaves. <laughs> and he would make them crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. <laughs> and swing from the branches and eat apples. <laughs> and sometimes they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. <laughs> tree 
giving everything that he had, he made himself happy by giving. By giving shade, he gave branches for the house. He gave the um, leaves and apples so that the boy could sell it and, and make some money and then the boy was happy. But ultimately, he gave everything that he had, right? So I want to um, ask you, what are some things that you can give to make other people happy? But before I get some volunteers, I want you to think of things that you can't wrap. Like, I don't necessarily want to be able to go to Walmart and buy it. I want things that you can give yourself to teachers or to your parents or to your friends that would make Jesus happy and that would ultimately make you happy. Emma? Love. You can give them love. Very good. What else, Lexi? Cards. Cards. You can make cards for them. Yes, ma'am, Samantha? You can give them the bear that you already have. That's sweet. Yes, ma'am. You could. You can make cookies. One more, Luke. Um, if you um, like had an extra Bible, like two Bibles, you could um, give it to. That would be a great idea, so that they could read about God. Now, the Bible tells us in Acts that it's more <coughs> blessed to give than to receive. And some things that you mentioned, you don't necessarily have to buy things from the store. And does it have to be somebody's birthday to give them something? No. No. Does it have to be Christmas time? No. No. You can give your time in listening to others, even your teachers and your friends. You could also give smiles or hugs or just a positive attitude. So we're going to close in prayer, and then you'll see a video of a song that means a lot to me, and it reminds me of how I can give, and maybe it'll give you some ideas of how you can give as well. So bow your heads.